Hi Libra, welcome to this reading. Queen of Swords reversed. So you might be watching this because, well, perhaps you're wanting to hear that there's hope. There's a reason to hold on, but you're kind of at your wit's end. Yeah, death reversed. We've got Scorpio here. Oh, wow, my goodness, very painful. Three of Swords reversed. And we're not talking something new either. We're talking maybe pain that's built over time or something that's happened that hasn't been resolved. So Three of Swords reversed, Eight of Wands reversed. Should group one stay or go, spirit? Three of pentacles. Wow, the Hierophant, Taurus there. Oh my goodness, four of wands. Wow. Two of wands reversed. Okay. And then we have the world in reverse. Oh, sorry. Let me bring you back. <laughs> okay, the world in reverse. Eight of cups, eight of pentacles. Do you know what group one? I think this has been pretty tough quite horrible at times even but I feel there's a change coming it's not here yet it's coming the world in reverse and I do actually feel spirit is saying it's going to be a change for the better and I think maybe that's why despite feeling fed up cross mistreated disrespected you know all of these things you're still holding space because you know something is shifting here three of pentacles hierophant four of wands i mean we've got teamwork commitment potentially marriage or any kind of high level commitment here that's seen recognized by others we could be signing actual papers we could be signing some sort of um emotional spiritual energetic contract together um for some reason i'm, I'm feeling specifically someone signing um, something around a home, a house, whether it's buying a house with your person, signing a lease, renting somewhere together. Um, well, I suppose because it's next to the Four of Wands. I, I could be looking at that, though, as proposal, engagement, marriage, which it definitely can be. But for some reason, it's strongly coming through. I'm literally seeing someone standing in an empty house, signing something. Um, so I feel like it might be around a home. And with the Two of Wands reversed, that is a big step into... The unknown stepping into the future stepping into territory that's unexplored um just going down a new path doing things a different way so i do feel you know we've got death reverse the world reverse i think you know you've got a bit more of this this space that you're in not much longer and then we get a big shift so i feel spirit saying hold on you already know i saw it with that ace of swords if you're feeling like maybe it's not logical maybe i'm only going to you know give this space to grow or, or hold space for this for, for like one more month or something like that, a year at the most, you know, the world can be a year sometimes, but, but I feel like there's something in me that's saying, give it a bit more time. Um, I feel the spirit is agreeing here. What I will say, Queen of Swords reversed, she's not that, she, she's not always that pleasant to deal with, but she doesn't become that way for nothing you know she's been hurt she's been disrespected she's been ignored lied to you know all of those things some of those things um and then the three of swords reversed that will need addressing that needs healing so there does need to be some kind of conversation here there does need to be resolution um i don't know maybe your person's got to show change behavior maybe there's got to be uh an apology that comes your way but something has got to happen to do or to go some way to, to healing the past here because this change is fantastic but i do wonder if the past isn't dealt with can there be enough trust to sustain this contract this commitment this teamwork okay let me take i want to take these three keep them out i've already sort of looked at them um you can't see them there let's move them across okay so let's see what else what else is going on here yeah so i do think group one the message from spirit should you stay or go is stay um and to be honest i don't feel excited telling you that because i think you already know so <laughs> i don't feel like I'm, I'm bringing look see you know and what's that underneath the sun in reverse and then we've got the three of cups so i think you know there's some kind of movement forward maybe even reunion reconciliation for some of you very soon so you already know this this is probably just confirmation for you um okay let's see what else please for group one 
Yep, seven of coins reversed, so you've been, you've been holding on for, for some time, page of pentacles and something new is coming in. Oh my goodness, look, on top of the hierophant, I do wonder if you might end up having a child with this person, if you already have a child or children, uh, maybe this is moving forward, it like sort of coming back together, if you were in a relationship or something like that, or maybe, you know, um, you sort of met, had a child unexpectedly or something with them and this is now your relationship around that situation becoming stronger um but yeah after a long time something tangible is coming through what i will say is i don't think spirit is saying hold on and you're going to be waiting for 78 years and um you'll be tearing your hair out in the meantime. This is something that's turning around pretty soon. As I said, I'm thinking sort of like a month, you should notice some changes, at the very most a year. For some of you, the world, Ace of Pentacles, um, but I would expect within that year to be seeing consistent, you know, smaller changes. So you can literally say, okay, I'm making progress here. I'm seeing things change. Uh, okay, what else? Let me look at this Three of Swords, then I'm going to go to the Two of Wands reverse. Three of Swords. Just saw the Queen of Cups reverse, so you might feel like all of your love, emotion, compassion, nurturing was rejected, it wasn't returned. It was sort of, I'm hearing abused. Um, so maybe what I wanted to say was um, taken for granted. Okay, Three of Swords. So you might even have felt that there have been times with this person you're asking about where they fully understood how much you have cared or loved them or you know how how big your feelings were and maybe they manipulated it you know the feelings and um and really didn't behave in a high vibrational way or something like that okay let's see seven of cups reverse we've got the tower scorpio yeah you know i kind of wanted to see a bit about what's happened but spirit's like well it doesn't matter because the viewer knows what's happened it's not going to help them to you know delve into that but what i want you know the viewer to know so what spirit wants you to know is look we've got the ending of confusion seven of cups reverse with the tower my goodness the world death the tower there is a change coming and it's soon the tower in terms of timing talks about now um in this card when you know with this seven of cups reverse we've got the sun at the top which is clarity illusion <laughs> illusion no clarity illumination um and also if we think about the sun card in tarot it's rebirth it's growth it's abundance and happiness okay two of wands reverse let's have a look knight of swords reversed six of pentacles reversed nine of pentacles I think you've been doing a lot of work on yourself um, and your life, whether we're talking about visible things that people are seeing in the 3D, maybe it's inner work, maybe it's both, you know, inner work that's now really becoming visible in how you're showing up in the world um, and sort of the things around you, but you're, you're showing up as this nine of pentacles and um, spirit wants you to know that this change that's coming in, it's not because of something, you know, just divine intervention or, um, oh, your person just simply had a change of heart. Spirit wants to say to you, this is also a result of your effort, your hard work, the steps you've taken, listening to your own inner guidance and advice. So really to say good for you essentially, and you're being sort of acknowledged here for what you've been doing. Four of Swords, Page of Swords. Yeah, I think maybe you sort of, at one point you were trying to give a lot trying to really, you know, make yourself a presence in your person's life. And I think you've pulled back. You've really been focus on, focusing on yourself and they have noticed. Um, you may have continued to watch them, you know, from the sidelines, maybe speak to them here and there, but I don't think you've been giving as much as you have in the past. There's something they desperately want to say to you. And I think at this stage, they might be even more keen to speak with you than you are to speak with them. Knight of Swords, what is it they want to say? We have missed opportunities. We've got the page of wands reverse. Yep, four of cups. I, I didn't see what you were offering or I saw it. I didn't take it. I was lazy. I thought it would be there forever. Um, is it, you know, is this offer still here now? Temperance, can we make up? Can we have peace? I'm sorry, this bird's extending its wing like reaching a hand out. Sagittarius energy. 
could also be regret, you know, I took too long. And look, two of cups in reverse on the back. Okay, so group one, I feel the answer here is stay. Um, you will be seeing changes basically anywhere from right now, whenever you're finding this reading, which I should have said at the start is timeless. Um, and, you know, up to a month, a year at the most. But as I said, if it's a year, it's not going to be in one year you, for, you see the first change. The, the changes will be happening between now and then. Okay, so let's have a, a few oracle messages. See where we go with these. All is well. Good to know. Okay. I'm seeing this card of breathe, and I do think you've been in that space, you know, of resting. Whether it's physical resting, resting your body, doing med meditation, or doing things that quiet your mind, stilling your emotions, um, maybe all of those things. Can we have some messages for group one, please, spirit? Passion. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Yeah, because there will be a change of events and you will feel this renewed passion. Um, I do also wonder if perhaps for some of you with that nine of pentacles, you have been passionately involved in your career and that's, you know, pulled you back a bit energetically from this connection, given your person space to feel that and miss you. Um, and they're like, hey, I remember when group one was really passionate about me and I'm kind of jealous of this, you know, other thing or, or situation they're passionate about. I want that back. So that's been good for them actually to feel that and see that. Okay. You know, like your love, attention, compassion, passion is not a given. It's something you were doing by choice and they should maybe be a bit more appreciative of that definitely not exploit it and manipulate it if they did in the past okay anything else from this deck please for group one mm, maybe not okay here we go we have angel therapy give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens okay and um i know this is obviously an angel deck but um they all they don't all say this and we do have the angel that i picked up as your one of your options here to choose by um so yeah you might some of you might work specifically with your guardian angels with um maybe one particular archangel um but yeah this is saying we're here remember us you have to call us in we're not going to interfere but if you do invite us we will turn up you know to help support you with whatever you're asking for um and archangel raphael is archangel raphael the archangel let me see who's connected to the heart heart space i always get confused archangel gabriel archangel raphael one's the throat one's the heart uh, let me see i know there are some of you that are shouting right now at the camera like well obviously um I want to say it's Archangel Raphael that's connected to the heart space, healing of the heart. Um, the reason I'm so interested is because of this Three of Swords reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. Queen of Swords reversed, as I said, you know, she's not that way just because it's fun. She's that way because she's um, she's been through a lot of pain and she's not had any acknowledgement or any apologies or anything like that. I'm still checking. Oh, I want to be sure before I just leave it at that. Um, oh my goodness, you know what? No one cares about me <laughs> sitting here and researching. So um, I think Archangel Raphael is connected to the heart space, but you know, just double check if you want to work with him on doing some, some heart healing here. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to say 100%, but I feel like 90% um, if me is sure. Right, okay. Let me pull, I'm just going to get one from this deck. So this is the numerology deck, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, one final message, please, for group one. Should they stay or go? Let's see. The energy is gaining momentum. Yes, exactly. We're moving somewhere now. There's some change coming. Oh my God, that looks very blue on the camera. It's very um, purple, actually. Oh, look, I think you can see it when I do that. Yeah. Okay, so the energy is gaining momentum. Good. If this has felt stuck, stagnant, there is change coming. So group one, I feel this is, this is very clearly a... Uh, stay message so thank you so much for watching i hope it resonated i feel like for many of you it will have just confirmed and it will have resonated with that ace of swords that kept coming through um so hopefully then it's just nice confirmation um so i'm going to move over now to group two hi group two okay so you chose the green crystal and the round deck so let's have a look and see should you stay or should you go? Should you hold space or should you leave this behind you and move on? Okay. Whoa. Okay, we have strength in reverse. So spirit group two, should they stay or go? Hold space or move on? We have the Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles reversed, the Ten of Cups, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Star, Aquarius there, we've got Leo as well. We have Temperance, Sagittarius. I know we don't have anything here, well, Queen of Pentacles, I suppose, but, I'm, you know, nothing really, really overt, like a Hierophant or something like that, but I am thinking of Taurus as well. Okay, and then we have the Chariot, Cancer. Hmm, what's on the back? The Page of Wands in the reverse, okay. This this is definitely the complicated group, as in the answer doesn't seem to be like yes or no, stay or move on. I will say, I'm gonna, just going to say it, say it from the beginning so you know where we're going with this. And if it's not your group, you know. But I think the message here might be go, move on, for now at least. And I say for now because this is where it gets complicated. The star, nine of cups, ten of cups, even temperance, there is something about this connection that's very divinely guided. And I don't think even if you were to go, turn around, move away, that it would end, if you see what I mean. There's something energetic going on. There's something something happening that's resonating deeply with you and your person. And I feel that one of you, perhaps your person here, because you're the one asking, you know, should I just give this up and move on? You, you know, you're probably feeling a bit tired. But um, so I'm going to say it's your person, but it's, it's like this uh connection is asking them to raise their vibration you know strength overcomes the devil strength is reversed so there's some of this like and i think i saw the devil when i was shuffling actually with the nine of cups as well i don't know if it's overindulgence um behavior of, of avoidance um but there's some kind of habit belief way of showing up in life that i feel through this connection your person is being asked to transform, to leave that behind, to grow and ascend. And they're having a bit of a difficult time. I don't know if this is their earlier on in this journey or if it's such embedded behavior. It's not easy to make the change and they're resisting it. But they're being encouraged to go from a lower vibration into a healing, higher vibration with the star. So it's, it's kind of difficult on the surface then because I feel like they're not ready to give what you're looking for. So I feel spirit saying for now you know, this process cannot be avoided, it can't be rushed, so your time is going to be better spent on other things. However, there will be a point where they have raised their vibration, and then we have a chance for this Ten of Cups here, but it's just not in this exact moment. So that's what I mean, If even if you go, even if you move on, even if you never, well not never, but even if you don't actively plan to invest in this situation person speak to them you know or whatever this is i do think this will come back around um it's just i think it's just more a matter of where this connection is at this time um 
And I do think you are in a higher vibration than your person and they've got to, to rise up to meet you. And um, they're not being encouraged to do this just to be with you. It's also for them, for their own good, because I don't think they're enjoying their life particularly or every aspect of it or feeling so great about themselves. Um, they might even have a particular crutch that they need to get through the day or that they need at the end of the day to unwind. Um, you know, nine of cups, strength reversed. It could even be like, I can't resist having that bottle of wine. I can't resist having that extra beer when I know I, I've probably had enough or I can't resist um, zoning out to something on Netflix when I should probably be facing such and such or dealing with such and such you know it's like i cannot resist that temptation and look how they're resisting the star the star we know is healing it's it's shining the light it's saying come this way trust have faith the journey might not be clear it might not even be easy at all times and they're like no absolutely not <clears throat> no thank you and this person's all dressed in green so i feel the reason here is fear emotional fear of what will it mean if i reach for this will i Will I get to a certain height and fall and look a fool and wish I hadn't have, have bothered? Um, I, I, you know, I don't know what's being asked of me and I'm scared. I don't want to. So you may have felt resistance, resistance, resistance in one way or another from this person. There might have been times where they've seemed warm, open. Um, they've come forward. They've been jovial. And you're like, yes, we're going somewhere. Queen of Pentacles, commitment. No, doesn't happen. Then they drop off because that's where they're being asked to grow, ascend to have more faith and it's it's difficult right now for them. Temperance, as I said, I feel um, also you're being asked to go or to focus on other things right now because the divine is saying, we've got this, You there's nothing for you to do here. Um, in fact, if you stay involved at this point, you might feel, you know, taken a bit advantage of by your person. Like they're not really respecting you. They're being a bit silly. They're not giving you what you're worth and it's not because you're not worth that or that they don't even see you're worth that for example commitment they haven't got it in them you know so it's like the angel spirit their higher selves are saying let us you know do our work for now then we've got the ten of cups and the chariot so i'm going to read this two ways because i think both are applicable i think right now spirit's saying you get in the chariot and go in the direction of your happiness ten of cups and it doesn't even mean you have to find someone else it could just mean painting makes you incredibly happy studying something new working out um i don't know your job makes you very happy family friends whatever it is you know fill those fill those cups with other things you know you keep searching for happiness um because you coming down to this person's vibration and being stressed defensive all of that isn't going to help them do their work which they need to be able to offer more here which both of you actually want and the other way i'm reading this is that once this person has pushed through this fear um they're not so defensive. Maybe they've even done some heart um, chakra healing. They will be in a better space to have this 10 of cups with you, to embrace it, to trust it, to even be on the vibration, to see it, to notice it. Okay, so let's get some more information here. Let's see with this strength nine of cups. That feels, that feels pretty big. It feels like something that's, I'm not seeing the devil, but it's verging on a need an addiction maybe it was an addiction and they are already in the process of moving beyond this but it, it's like it's a hollow it's a hollow temporary fix i mean this guy looks i don't know i don't know how he, <laughs> how he looks to be honest but he doesn't exactly look happy um and these cups you know are sort of going around his head like it's a continual cycle so strength nine of cups let's see yeah look three of cups it doesn't have doesn't have to be going out and drinking it definitely could be but it's definitely some kind of in the moment enjoyable behavior that they might regret the next day because they've got a hangover or they've got less money than they had or whatever the problem was they were avoiding is still there um okay yeah so right let's move on to this star card let's do star and the temperance card 
six of swords reversed so one thing that your person's being guided to do is go back and revisit something something that's painful something that's difficult something that's shaped who they are how they act at this point but it's not beneficial to them something they'd rather avoid ignore uh, from the past here and they are resisting that it's almost like no that's very painful don't you know that i've been trying to ignore that this ever happened since it's happened why would i actively choose to go and deal with it and face it four of wands and we have the page of pentacles so of course it could be something that happened when they were a child something that happened to do with the um family home or like a pivotal structure it could have been school even you know kids spend a lot of time there maybe um four of wands where do people spend time maybe like some kind of organization whether it's like um some hobby or religious studies or whatever it is people do you know but something when they were young and forming ideas about how the world outside of them treats them sees them what the world expects of them how they show up in the world because pentacles you know we're building concepts about things outside of ourselves um you know, we're no longer in that baby phase of if I scream, I get attention and it's all about me, you know? I mean, hopefully, if someone's not had an awful experience as a baby, then they feel that way. But as we get older, we start to realise, oh, there are other people in the world and I have to interact with them and it's, it's more of a balance and that sort of thing. So something has impacted them um, as they were forming ideas about the world around them, structures around them, and it wasn't good because they don't want to think about it. They don't want to face it. So now, obviously, this connection, very high vibrational, very divinely guided, comes into their life, offering incredible amounts of happiness that, honestly, I don't think they've experienced before in, you know, romantic connections or any connection or any other area in life. Um, they don't know how to take it. They don't know what to do with it. Um, it you know, this sort of connection requires commitment, commitment to showing up, um, to, to putting in effort time and they're like excuse me what that's not that doesn't fit in with my ideas about how i see the world i don't understand how to do this so i'm just gonna you know distract myself with people friends whatever i'm doing for some of you there could have been you know um third parties now don't be alarmed if this would be something you know about this behavior is very transparent it's very on the surface so if you know your person's kind of just sleeping around or dating other people, then that's not a surprise. But it doesn't have to be that. It could be, as I said, any kind of avoidant um, behaviour. So let's have a look at this Ten of Cups with the Chariot. Anything for this Ten of Cups with the Chariot, please? We have the Magician, but it's reversed. Gemini energy. So, yeah, I mean... We can see how much power, how much potential there is, how transformative this connection is. I sh I'm sure it has been for you as well. Um, I would assume, though, as you seem to be in higher vibration, that you've been able to accept the challenges or the, the prompts, the nudges that have come through from spirit, even if they haven't been easy. And you might have done a better job of facing them than your person has at this point. Um, the magician, the, the master you know transmuter of, of things so so this connection specifically on your personal side is going through a kind of transmutation at this time and i don't think there's anything that you can or need to be doing right now so that's the advice you know to go focus on other things that make you happy at this point um but you know the magician manifesting anything and everything that we desire with the ten of cups and the chariot there's going to be a point where this changes um if your person can really face their fear here and move forward and this will be like some sort of you know unstoppable connection where you're both on this shared divine mission whatever that looks like even if it's just you both being in sync and moving through the world is very inspiring to people you know whatever it is it's very powerful but i just feel like it's about timing the time right now is for them to grow heal evolve and for you to you know double down with things that are already around you and make you very very happy or things you want to explore that will make you happy and just just giving them some time really um and pulling yourself back doing a bit of self-protection so you're not getting tangled in tangled up in this defensive energy they've got going on which, you know, could feel very personal. Like, oh, they're rejecting me, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so 
let's get some archangel messages wherever you go um whatever you're doing whatever changes you make this connection will find you again um, because if you think of the star like the north star you know you can always see it, it doesn't matter where you are um what you've been doing um and i do feel with temp you know temperance as well you will be realigned here with this person so you don't need to worry about well, what if i make this change in life or that change or you know what if i even um move country you know surely that's going to end this connection i just i just don't think so okay so messages please for my viewer we have yeah Take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. So if you've been the magician trying to manifest here, it's not that it's not working. It's just that maybe it's not the right time. So maybe all of that intention is being stored up for a later date. And the message here is become the magician again. Take back, back that power that you've been giving, channeling here, and give it to some other areas right now. Counselor, um, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. I always read this card though because of the image as um, spirit saying you have counselors, you have a support team in the divine. So, you know, remember to call on us, remember to, um, remember we're here, remember we can help, you know, invite us in, let us know what you're, what you're needing at this time. Especially if in this connection you've been very empathetic and patient and this person has sort of um, come to you a lot with their problems and you've taken the, their problems and just sort of carried them around, you know, and, and it hasn't gone both ways. Okay, so let's finish up with a Moonology card. Final message, please, for group two. I'm hearing some of you feel that you've, you've literally poured almost like your blood your soul into this so yeah if that's the case it's definitely time to take back some power and and channel that into yourself and just um maybe give yourself a bit of a break from this for now and that that doesn't have to look any kind of way you know that's very personal and, and individual um what feels like okay i'm taking a break from this connection for one person will feel very different for another so um you know take that uh in whatever way it means to you or however it, does that make sense oh you know what i mean okay <laughs> let's get this card and see nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon so things can change things will change they are changing um but yeah i mean look at this sea it's up and down it's crazy there's a lot going on um nothing is yet set in stone okay so there is change happening as we speak and i just think your best bet right now is to almost sort of steer clear really of your person you know um wait nope <laughs> that sounded really bad really wrong um that's not what i meant steer clear of maybe getting too involved too invested at this time in this connection because your person is going through a lot and i think sometimes you might feel the it's almost like they lash out or you get backlash and it's not even about you but it's still wounding you know it's still hurtful still painful um so if i have to say stay or go i'm going to say go but like i said this connection will find you again um it's just not the right time not for it to be the healthy, happy, um, enriching, full of potential ten of cups that it can be. Okay, so I will leave this here. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. And um, I will see you soon. Bye.